quit looking of what you lost at what you don't have. Hello friends, this is Shundel. This is just a share, a reminder to each and every one of us. I am sharing with you what I have read today. Many times in our life, we are so busy using so much energy thinking what we have lost or what we don't have. Stop that. Quit from that thoughts and start believing that you can make it. You can do it. What you want to do with your life. Quit looking at what you lost, at what you don't have. Stop it. Try to change your perspective. Thinking that you can put God first in your life. The blessing He has for you cannot be content. Yes, you may be limited, but remember, God is not limited. God is unlimited. Take the limits of God and take the limits of yourself. You can do what you want to do. Focus on the now. Focus on tomorrow and stop looking what you don't have. Stop looking of what you have been lost. You can still start today for something big in your life. You are the one who can do wonders in your life. Stop saying you cannot be well. Of course you can be well if you start believing in yourself. Stop thinking that there's no one in your family support you. Don't think about that. Each and every one of us is capable of doing great things. Even we don't have the help and encouragement and support from our family. Just make a decision to quit thinking about the thing. Remember that you are the child of the Most High God and God is calling you to be a transitor, to be a difference maker, to be a barrier breaker. He is calling you to come on to Him. Express the goodness of God. Work on with yourself maybe the odds are against you but remember the most high god is for you you are not on your own you are the child of the most high god and if you come unto him for guidance he will give you the holy spirit to guide you, to lead you to where you want to be. Remember that you and God are a majority. You must just come on to Him. Nothing can stop what He has purposed to your life. Now get in agreement with God. It's amazing what happens when you enlarge your vision. You have to believe big, pray bold prayers, and dream great dreams. Give God's permission to open the floodgates of heaven and get ready. He is about to do something that you've never seen before. All He wants you to do is to come unto Him, communicate with Him every day. Let Him take part of your life. You must acknowledge that God has the floodgates of heaven opening as you put Him first into your life. 
practicing an attitude of gratitude, thanking God that He is pouring out so much blessing that you won't have room enough to store it all. You must simply believe and declare that God taking the limits of you and of yourself and expecting greater things that you've never ever seen before. You have to be detailed about Him. Dwell on the greatness of God. When you can keep doing it, it becomes easier for you to quit that mental attitude of what you lost and what you don't have. You can quit the thoughts filling your mind with all the positive thoughts which can help you to move forward to fulfill your dreams and desires in your heart. But you have to take a decision right now to believe in God. Have faith in Him. This is Yuntel. Thank you for listening. Thank you for dropping here in my channel. I am very grateful to each and every one of you supporting me here in my channel. I love you all and bye-bye.